welcome to a random adventure at Benime Con, exploring the dealer's hall. Before getting into the main subject of this video, I just want to provide a brief explanation of what Benime Con is. Firstly, it's most often referred to simply as Benime. And it's a convention that happens in San Jose, California every Memorial Weekend. It's an event celebrating Japanese culture, manga, anime, and related art. 2022 is the first Fanime back after a two-year hiatus due to the pandemic. And it was a great time, but you could tell that it wasn't at full strength. It was a good crowd, but it was a smaller crowd. So I'm looking forward to 2023 when hopefully Fanime is back at full strength. But let's talk about one of Fanime's main attractions, the Dealer's Hall. The Dealer's Hall is where you can get swag, memorabilia, and collectibles. It gets a lot of foot traffic, so it gets the biggest space at the convention. There are a lot of vendors selling really interesting things, but I'm just going to show you some of the highlights and some of the more interesting things that I saw. Just like with the internet, cats have found a way to be a force to be reckoned with here at Fanime. Since the pandemic was still a presence in everybody's lives, a vendor got clever and decided to make some colorful masks. That's one way to get around. T-shirts are always a good souvenir. Tea turtle always has some fun designs, but there are plenty of other options. If you wanted to start your career as a ninja or a samurai, these guys could hook you up. The dealer's hall is also where you'll find the main food and drink options. You'll find some fun and unique food options here. This bento box vendor was very popular. If you're a Legend of Zelda fan and you've always wanted to learn an instrument, you could always try the ocarina. Silk screen posters are also a good souvenir. 2022 also felt like it was the year of the doge. Plushies are another popular souvenir. You may think plushies are something for little kids, but I mostly see adults buying them. And I have to admit, I can understand the appeal. Some of them are pretty cute. Figurines are another popular item at the dealer's hall. Like with the plushies, it's easy to write these off as children play things. But again, it's mostly adults that I see buying these. I even own a few myself. Let's check out some of them, starting with Dragon Ball. I would say the vast majority of anime is family and kid friendly, but there are some risque elements. If you're in a thick Pokemon, I guess anime's got you covered. These figurines are a little bit different compared to the ones we were looking at earlier. Thanks for checking out the video and check back for another random adventure at anime. Take care. Take a break. Kamehameha. Ochi tsuite. Ima wa kanshou teki ni natte iru bai jo.